cool. Okay, let's do the California talk. We're going to get rain this week. Thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, so grateful for that. Without the rain, we'd be in big, big trouble. I mean, imagine no rain all winter. We would be so messed up. Our food prices would go through the roof. Our water bill would be through the roof. The landscape would die. It would be horrible. My family came out of Oklahoma during the big dust bowl, during the great dust bowl, and it was no rain, so all the crops died. Many people died in America during that time. Many people suffered, starved to death. Just watched The Grapes of Wrath with uh, Peter Fonda, an amazing movie. And in the movie, they say at the very end, well, we're on our way to Fresno. Well, that's where my family ended up, from Oklahoma straight to Fresno, and we've never left. So I'm really grateful for the rain we're going to get. It's going to rain for at least a week, and it hasn't rained in a week for at least a year. It's been almost like a whole year since we've even seen a week's worth of rain. So really looking forward to it. It's really going to be nice. The air in Fresno is so dirty and gross, so I cannot wait for this rain to happen. Other than that, let's see. Well, the Olympics are about over. I really enjoyed watching the Olympics, 2014 Olympics in Russia. They were really cool. They were really awesome. Uh, Going to really be sad for a while about losing the guitar player of Devo. I love Devo. I think they're one of the best bands in the world. Uh, still freaked out about Roy Garber dying from Shipping Wars because he was my reason for watching the show. I loved watching Roy uh, just make all the jokes he made and be funny. And his attitude, just, he made me laugh a lot. And now that he's gone, I'll never be able to laugh about the stuff he does, gets into the, his attitude, getting pissed off real easy, just, just being Roy. That's all you can say. Just, Roy was just Roy. And uh, he was one of a kind. He really was one of a kind. Well, let's say something nice, something that's not about death, something positive. Uh, talked about the rain. Thank God for the rain. Uh, band stuff going on. My brother's playing uh, in March here in Fresno, him and his band, the Fanatics. They're going to be playing here in Fresno, having a good time, uh, rock and roll. And he's a guitar player and a singer in the band. He's a real good guitar player, great singer. Great guitar player, too, by the way. And uh, my Aunt June is doing good. She was on Hee Haw, sang the Monster Mash song back in the 50s. or I think it was the early 60s, actually. She wrote a song called Genie, Genie, Genie in the 50s, and Eddie Cochran recorded it. Eddie Cochran died very young. He died in a car accident. He was on tour. I think he was in France, and that he was in a taxi, and the taxi driver crashed a car, and unfortunately it killed Eddie Cochran. He died very young. He died while he was on tour. As we know, Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens all died in a plane crash. They all died very young. So, you know, you sometimes forget about them guys dying from accidents. You seem to we seem to pretty much only remember people like Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, dying of drug overdoses. But uh, we've got to remember those uh, early rock and rollers who died tragically. They died very young. Okay, uh, that's about it for now. I'm going to do more of these uh, audios. I'm going to start filling up my uh, video account. I think it's fun to talk about stuff. Uh, even depressing stuff it's okay to talk about because you get it off your chest. If I'm grieving the loss of a loved one, I might make a recording. I don't know if I'll be able to. It hurts a lot to lose loved ones. Uh, it makes me into a zombie for a long time. And it doesn't feel real. It does not feel real. It doesn't feel like it's really true. Even my animals, but especially my loved ones, my family members and my friends. Shannon Elliott. I love you so much, and I miss you. I know you're in heaven. Uh, my granny, my grandpa, both my grandparents, both my grandpas and both my grandmas, basically. So both sets of grandparents, 
You're all in heaven. I love you all. Uh, numerous aunts and uncles and several cousins. I haven't lost any nephews and nieces, so thank God for that. And uh, family is important. Always remember your family. And I know no family is perfect. Mine's far from perfect. But you have to do what you can to stay as a family unit. You've got to try to forgive each other. Some families can't be around each other. There's too much violence or there's too much that's happened. Uh, I have had a lot of problems with my family. There's been a lot of abuse and there's been a lot of anger and a lot of rage and a lot of jerks have come and gone in, in and out of my uh, family's situation. But I love my parents dearly. And even though we're not very close all the time, I'm, I'm pretty close to my mom, not very close to my dad. But uh, I love them. Even though my dad loses his temper in a half, half a second over any little thing he gets upset about, which is usually pretty stupid stuff, he gets freaked out. But he was an abused child. He was abused by his stepdads when he was growing up. So he has a lot of anger issues. And he's probably got mental illness such as I. I am bipolar. I have bipolar disorder. And I live with it. And uh, I take medication to try to control it. And it's a tough life. It's a very tough life. Okay, YouTube. God bless and have a good day. And I cannot wait for the rain to start to fall. This is my recording in my room in Fresno, California, February 22nd, 2014. Uh, by the way, uh, that was it. See ya. Submit.